Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Darren. Today I'm going to bring you something new and interesting. Uh, we've already tried the TSR 2, 3 and 4 and I must admit that these drivers are exceptionally good. To complete the family, this time we've got TSR 1 and TSR 1 is actually specific for a certain kind of golfers and the best person to explain this to us would be actually Andrew Rogers. So say hi to Andrew! Hi guys! Uh, thanks Daz. Yeah, the TSR1 is a continuation of the family. We now have 1, 2, 3, 4 and it's designed specifically for people who are a little bit slower in their swing speed. We say about 90 mile an hour um, or less. It's optimized for people in that range. So, you know, if you hit your driver maybe 230 yards or less, TSR1 could be something really worth considering. Andrew, you know, to test the TSR1, would I be the best person to do that? Definitely not. <laughs> Why? A bit too fast, a bit too, a bit too quick for that head. So early on you were saying that we needed someone with about 90 miles, above or below 90 miles? So around, around 90 or less. Yeah. Around 90 or less, so yeah. I think we've got the perfect candidate for that. I think we do too. And today, I would like to introduce to everyone, we've got Annabeth. Hi, hi, I'm Annabeth. <laughs> So, um, what driver are you using now actually? Um, I'm actually using a TS1, the old one without the I, TS1. Wow, and yeah. how many degrees is that? This is 9.5. And what shaft do you have? Um, I'm using... Looks like the speeder shaft. Yeah, it's a speeder shaft. Okay. So, yeah. what are you expecting from this fitting session? Um, I do want to see an increase in um, the distance for sure. Mm -hmm, the mm -hmm, carry mm -hmm, distance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I mean that's the most important one and of course consistency so I'm actually a draw um, heater so um, I'm very excited to see what the TSR brings for me thank you let's go what we'll do is because you hit Pro V1 X's yep we will fit with Pro V1 X's okay to make sure we're being as accurate as possible as you know Nice. And what about the height on that? Is that pretty typical for the height you get? Uh, no, slightly lower than oh, usual. Yeah. 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 Okay. Sure. Sure. Yep. Good. 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 Nice. A couple more like that. Really good. A bit better height. Yeah, better height. Yeah. And that's the one you kind of see on course where it just pulls a little left? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Good to see. Okay. Yep. Yep, just left that one out there a little bit, hey? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you feel like that's a pretty honest cross-section of your shots on the course? Yeah. yeah. Yeah? Okay. So, some of the big changes you're going to see, well, from TSI to TS, sorry, TS1, TSI1, and now TSI1, it's all going to be about inertia, smash factor. So, okay. when you make stuff really light, it's super easy to pick up and swing, and that's great, but inherently by taking weight out of the head we start to lose energy transfer in the ball okay and so not bad strikes but this smash factor of 1.43 just means the trade-off in going this light is that we've lost that inertia smash factor and so one of the big changes we would expect to see as we go up into the tsr1 now yep. is a big jump up in your ball speeds um so this was the first generation we had for the lightweight stuff, right? Yeah. And now they're onto their third cycle. They learn a lot and they've improved really fast. So it's going to be really interesting to see where we go with this. Um, so we're just going to go straight into keep your shaft the same. Yeah. I think we can do a bit of a better job with the shaft, but we're going to start there anyway. And we're going to go into the TSR one. Okay. 
10 degree. Okay. Thank you. Please and thank you. You can probably already feel a little bit different weight in the head, right? Yes, yeah. yes, I Because yours is so light, which has a lot of benefits, but I think... Okay. I just want to see how heavy can we go, right? First hit. Mm -hmm. First hit. First one's free. Yep, nice. Different note. So swung it a little slower, a little timid. Yeah. And it stayed a bit open. But look at the smash factor there, 1.49. Okay. So even though you swung it slower, the ball speed's already higher. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a heavier head, feels different. So we've got some work to do, but it's a good start. Crush. Great job. 127.6 ball speed. So immediately 1.5 wow. smash. So it's a little flatter through the air, okay, yeah. which we need to work on, but the speed's just a whole nother place, which it should be. We okay. expected to see it. Now it's how do we like better use that speed and optimize it for you. But the gains are well worth the, the um, sort of the, the process. But I bet it feels different in the hand. Okay, so the head, I feel it's um, it's more firm. Yes, it's heavier, but okay. I feel that the ball strike, like during impact, it's a lot more like steady. Sure. Like more steady than the old TS one. Sure. So I feel that like um, on impact, yeah, I can feel that there's weight there. It's mm. not too light, too wobbly. Mm. So. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, awesome. That's great. And it's a lot of it is where the weight is as well. So the repositioning yeah. of the weight. So you've got more, even though it's not necessarily a heavy head, there's yeah. more mass in behind where you need behind. it. Behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. Okay. Which is good. Great start. Awesome start. Okay. Nice big gains in distance already. Okay, so what I'd love to see now is some hooks. Okay. Because although we're not seeing any of the big ones today we know we still want you, you still want to hit draws right yeah so we want to make sure that doesn't turn into a hook unintentionally so okay. can you hit a few just big right to left it doesn't matter if you overshape it let's just really get it going right to left and see what happens Didn't overhook, just smashed it. All right, you're not allowed to leave here to hit a hook. Face is just open. You gotta shut that face more. Seemingly about six mile an hour more ball speed. Close. It's not a hook. But nice. Nice. You're not allowed. So when you set up your shoulders pointing there, you want to hook one, you're going to make sure you're pointing there. Yes, good. Okay. okay. So make sure you're more, more right. More. Like that? Good. Your hip also got to point more. Oh, hip also right. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Hip right short. Like you turn. Yeah, gonna, yeah. Okay. Okay. And feels like everything is tilted. Like that. This way. Like that. Beautiful. Okay. Driver out for you, right? Yeah. Faster, 127.8. 170 carry. Yeah. Fundamentally change that. <laughs> You've probably, probably gone too far. Gone too far? <laughs> like with that, it's really good though. Okay. Let's adjust a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Too much right, just a bit left. Uh, good. Okay. Okay. Nice. So easy, ah. Uh. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Did you mm. do that? Yeah. So you went from minus 4 to plus 1.8. Right. Yeah. Okay. It's funny how extreme it feels, right? Yeah. 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 Really good. Laser straight. Oh, I got the nice kick on there too. <laughs>
Okay, let's conclude <laughs> with what we have today. He's talking to you. <laughs> right. Yeah, so I, I thought you guys off surprise. But okay. okay. So, uh, Andrew, talk us through what did uh, Annabeth ended up with? Um, so, Annabeth ended up with a nice evolution of kind of what she's already playing. Um, we kept the same shaft length. We went from a 9.5 to a 10 degree head just because the new head spins a little bit um, less. So, we're trying to get it in the air more. Um, we went to the TSR 1. Um, we saw some pretty big jumps. We saw about five, five and a half mile an hour ball speed increase um, at pretty much the same total club weight. So huge gains. Um, we're, on average, we're about 10 meters further, but her best versus best is something silly like 16 meters more through the air. So we'll see how that plays out on the golf course, but all the signs are really promising. So Anna, what do you think about the new TSR1? Well, it is amazing it's beyond expectations um, I wasn't looking at like such an increment in my carry and my total distance and definitely I have a better like um, attack angle now it's more consistent even on my bad shots uh, it's super great thanks for joining us guys uh, leave a like subscribe down below and leave a comment for a chance to win a uh, chance to come in here for a free fitting with Titleist Yay. Thank you.